Gina says, hey, Jonathan, question. A man has trouble receiving a compliment. How do I boost his self-esteem and make him more comfortable? A man has trouble receiving a compliment. How do I boost his self-esteem and make him more comfortable? Gina, great question. And the answer is you cannot do anything to boost his self-esteem. That's on his, that's his job to do the inner work. And most likely someone who has a trouble receiving a compliment, most likely had childhood wounds and traumas in their life that created negative patterns, limiting the beliefs and an inability to actually receive love. So I wanna talk about three books right now that if you want to invite him to read, I highly recommend. Now, the first book is Ninja Level, Ninja Level Study Level. This is a 50 hour deep dive. It's called the Hoffman Process, the Hoffman Process. This is a deep dive into healing childhood wounds and traumas. This is gonna require a minimum of 50 hours of work, not just reading, but doing the work. And most people won't do the work. They won't do the work. Now you can get the cliff note version by doing a little bit of homework and studying a little bit through YouTube about the Hoffman process. But I invite you to either invite him to go to it in person or read the book. The next two books, because most likely he has an avoidant personality, I highly uh, suggest reading the book Attached, Attached by Amir Levine and Rachel Heller. Okay, I highly recommend reading this book. Most likely he's avoidant, which makes it difficult for him to receive love, to receive that compliment. And also reading the book, Getting the Love You Want by Harvell Hendricks and Helen Hunt. This is about learning what's known as the imago, the imago, how we choose people in our lives that are very similar to one or both of our parents. We oftentimes choose people that are similar in personality and nature, as one of our parents because we want to heal a wound with our parents. So going back to your original question, you can't, you can't improve his self-esteem, only he can improve his self-esteem and he's gonna have to wanna do the work. Otherwise, you're gonna have a person that's incapable of receiving love. And by the way, who wants to be in relationship with someone who's incapable of receiving love unless you're looking for a traditional relationship where it's a one up, one down, the man pays the bills, the woman's the subservient person. That's the way it's been throughout society. I'm hoping to shift that narrative because I am not a big proponent of the one up, one down, the man is the financial leader and the woman is the servant in the relationship. I'm a big proponent of relationships being like a two lane street, a two lane street. You're traveling at the street to a street that has two lanes and you're traveling at the same speed together of mutual effort, of mutual giving and receiving. This is why I'm not a big proponent of the whole masculine and feminine energy and a woman, all she has to do to, to those five feminine signals to program a guy is just sit in your feminine energy and lean back and he's just going to magically gravitate towards you and he's going to claim you. And he's gonna be chivalrous because all you're doing is sitting in your feminine. Folks, sitting in your feminine energy simply means you're just waiting to receive. You're literally a doormat at that level when you're waiting to receive. I'm here to suggest throw out the bullshit narrative about masculine feminine energy and be an empowered woman or an empowered man. Be an empowered woman or an empowered man. When you are empowered with your self-worth, self-esteem, self-confidence, your sovereignty, which is all wrapped up into self-love, you are going to become a magnetic attractor so two people connect like this. Because feminine energy is, is like this, waiting for this to show up. <laughs> I'm sorry to be so graphic, but that's literally the narrative. You just sit back and wait to receive the penis. That's what feminine energy is. You're waiting to receive. Stop waiting to receive and be a giver with a person who's also a giver. Be a giver with a person who's also a giver and you're not with a giver, then maybe they're not the right person for you because two givers can create a much better relationship than one who's expected to give and the other's just expected to receive. And that's my, that's my rant, take it for what it's worth. All right. I hope you're finding value.